MSB here, and today I'm fulfilling another deck request, this time from Jose Ramon Correz Monforte, fantastic name by the way, who asked for a mono ruby deck centered around the Minotaur cards of AC2. Absolutely, I call this deck Rampaging Rapscallions. And here it is, with two Spectral Acorns, three Hirethorn Cutthroat, three Crushing Blow, three Quashridge Tusker, three Fuel for the Fire, three Flame Hand Invoker, two Soul of Battle, three Brutal Commander with Trinket and Glove Equipment, three Hired Horn Captain, three Fiendish Cabalist with Helm Equipment, three Hired Horn Sellsword with Chest Equipment, two Deployment Orders, three Zakoi High Cleric with Weapon Equipment, and two Chark Hired Horn Elite with 22 Ruby Shards. Now while I've chosen the Elf which can use this deck at level 10, you can also use this deck with a level 11 Dwarf, level 11 Human, level 13 Orc, or level 13 Venom with just a couple of subouts, depending. I've also chosen the Warrior class, because I feel that the Minotaurs pair very well with the trained troop talents. Now the Brutal Commander and Equipment, as well as Sequoian Equipment, are farmable from the Frostring Arena. But if the Quash Ridge Tuskers are a little bit too expensive, you can choose to put any other one-cost orc in the deck. Now that the deck is ready, let's go ahead and take it for a spin. Okay, going second against Kazraga. Why Kazraga? Well, Kazraga is a very difficult encounter for most rush decks. So, oh, this looks pretty good. Uh, yeah, Hired Horn Captain, we've got a Zakoi. Uh, that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and keep this. So, with Kazraga, I mean, you've got to deal with, what is it, like 110 worth of health and at least six free troops. So that's notoriously difficult for a rush deck to deal with, so... That is why. Oh, cool. Yeah, and trained? Hmm. Um, I am actually going to play out the Hired Horn Captain right now. I mean, I know I've, I've got a Zakoi, which is fantastic, but this is actually a really good combo. An early game Hired Horn Captain into a Hired Horn Cutthroat, because this gives all of your Minotaurs Rage 2, so that'll keep beefing up the, the Cutthroat, and that's really, really good. Oh my gosh, look at this. Okay, so as you can tell, I mean, I've got orcs in the deck. Um, that's mostly because there aren't enough minotaurs to run a troop deck by itself. So you have to pair it with something. Pair it with something. No, not not pair it with something. Pair it with something. You get what I mean. <laughs> I know it's a terrible pirate joke. Uh, let's go ahead and beef that in. That is great. Yes. And close it down. Um, so the best troops to, to pair the Minotaurs with is sort of like a small contingency of orcs. Uh, because you get fantastic troops like Sequoi, Quashridge Tuskers, uh, Brutal Commanders. So it's basically there, there are going to be some games that you win with just Minotaurs. And then there are going to be some games that you win with just orcs. And then there are going to be some games where you just win with both. You, you get some of one and some of another. And that's fine, uh, you know, it, because the, the deck basically needs that. Oh, another trained Hired Horn Cutthroat. Okay, well now we can Deployment Orders. I'm actually glad I didn't go for Sequoi on this, uh, because I would never have gotten my Hired Horn uh, Captain out. Okay, uh, we will beef up this. And the, the Cutthroats are just, just getting up there. Yeah, just kill these, kill these guys. Okay, now we're at the 30s. Uh, do I want to sacrifice a troop for this? No, a 5-5 does not scare me. Nope, that's fine. Um, and I've got a nice soul of battle to basically finish off an opponent. Four resources. Let's see what he plays. Okay, another brute, count. brute crown color. Mm, brute crown color, that's tough. So yeah, I mean, sometimes the deck, you know, you'll be reliant on your on your orcs. Okay, Gruesome dead, he's dead. That's fine, that's actually not too bad. And uh, Vicar's Aid helps to uh, soften the blow. Hmm. Fiendish Cabalist. Okay, so I'm going to Deployment Orders, because I need some resources. Oh my gosh, no resources. Not trained, not trained. Okay. Um, hmm. Well, he's got to attack... And he's going to die this turn, actually. I could sacrifice instead... Well... 
because he's going to go to 8. And that means he's going to pair both of those. So it's basically a matter of either throwing away my Hardhorned Cutthroat or throwing away my Quashridge Tusker. Um, I'm actually going to attack with both. Yep, and I'll power that up. So I'm going to lose my Quashridge Tusker. That's okay, because that's going to keep my Hardhorned Cutthroat up and running, which is right now my ramping threat. Giving them both plus one, plus one. And he'll be an 11-11 next turn. For six, he's got another... Oh, okay, good. That's a brute crown carver, not another color. I thought he had another color. I was like, oh my gosh, stop it with that nonsense. Boy. Hmm. No resources to speak of, hey? Well, that's good. That's a... That's a uh, uh, Trained Hired Horn Captain. That's a good combo, if I could ever get a third resource. Um, I could... Okay, I'm going to throw out this. And I'm going to attack with both, because that's going to make him block one of these guys. Yep, good. And I'll throw in another 11 damage. And that gives both of my, my Captain and my Cutthroat uh, another plus one, plus one bonus. Would really love a third resource, because uh, I'd love to play this Hired Horn Captain. Okay, great. Doesn't play anything. Oh, <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. Now this is going to make this Hired Horn Cutthroat uh, really scary, because now he's got Rage 4. Um, I am only going to swing with this Cutthroat. Yeah, I'm only going to swing with Cutthroat. 16, 16. Look at this. So 10. This is going to wipe him out of troops. Which is great. great. Pow! Get them out of here. My hired horn cutthroat is just going to town on you. Uh, let's just... Uh, I mean, if he has a gruesome death, that would suck. But right now, this is, this is looking great. This is looking great. Oh, good. And another... Okay, let's, let's pull train troop from my deck. And it's a Sequoia, that's okay. Two, this keeps my soul of battle in play. Um, I don't really need anything. Um, I'm even gonna swing with my Herod Horde Captain so that way he gets the plus two for rage. Because this could this could definitely be a, a, a soul of battle finish. <laughs> Negative 20. Yeah, because that's, that's one of the best parts. When you start getting a troop that is um, an early game killer. Bam. Little nine damage jab to the face, uh, because then you soul a battle and you could just wreck stuff. Okay, let's see what he does. Because yeah, this this is doing crazy damage. Okay, call the grave. That's okay. Uh, what is this? A fifteen. Okay, great. Fuel for the fire. Well, you know, I mean, a fiendish cabalist. Oh, he's trained. Okay, no, that's this is really good. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, good, excellent. Okay, see now. Now I'm in a really good position because I don't need the resources, so I'm actually going to kill Berg with my charge power, so that drops him. Um, and then seven two. Um, I think I am swinging with all here yeah I'm swinging with all and then I may soul a battle to to win let's just do the quick math okay so that's 50 yeah I'm solo battling this hired horn cutthroat to win yeah th this is I mean you can tell if you get an early game captain into another minotaur you can do some serious damage like and then you've got the Zakois for backup this is fine I'm just gonna kill off zag get out of here pow negative six so you can see the explosive power of Minotaurs by themselves, and then the orcs powering them up is just a really great combo for this deck. Fantastic. Fantastic. As you can tell, the Mono Ruby Minotaur Rep Scallion deck is an amazingly powerful deck that can take down opponents no matter what their health pool is with a little bit of good old pirate training. Thanks again to Jose for the deck request, and thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please take the time to subscribe, and as always, 
I'm MSB, wishing you good games and good times.